All right, you've decided to make the change from Lightroom to On One Photo Raw. Let me show you how to get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to get your photos from Lightroom into Photo Raw. And there's a couple ways to do that. And the way you choose depends a lot on what kind of Lightroom user you are. If you're a high volume photographer, you shoot lots of photos, you have hundreds of thousands of photos. You organize those into folders based on jobs rather than date. And you do minimal editing and you don't use albums. A pretty easy thing to do is just to simply browse to your photo location. A lot of professional photographers would fall into this boat because they tend to capture the photos and hand them off to other people to do the editing. If on the other hand, you're someone like a landscape photographer who probably shoots fewer photos than that, might organize them differently and use albums as an important part of their organization, and they do a lot of raw processing in Lightroom, then using the Lightroom Migration Assistant might be a better way to go. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to use here. To use a Lightroom Migration Assistant, make sure you've installed On One Photo Raw already. That'll install a plugin into Lightroom Classic that will make it easy to move from one to the other. The next step is you want to make sure that all of your drives are attached. Now keep in mind with Lightroom you can have multiple catalogs. You'll need to repeat this process for each catalog that you want to migrate. So open the catalog that you want to migrate, mount any volumes that are necessary or external hard drives that are necessary, and then let's synchronize those drives just to make sure everything is up to date. So the best way to do that is to go over here to your folders pane, right click at the top of each drive, and select the synchronize button. You can see this folder is already up to date. But this will make sure that any photos that have been added, any photos that have changed, or any photos that have gone missing are updated. That'll make the transition process a lot more smooth. All right, the next thing you want to do is do any housekeeping that you might want to do. You want to make sure that all of your albums are in order, that any uh, folder organization is kind of organized the way you like it because that's the same way it's going to appear inside of Photo Raw. So kind of think about when you're moving houses, if you're moving from one house to another one, that's kind of the best time to do your housekeeping before you move into the other house. Same idea goes with your photos. So do that organization work first. When you've got everything set, go up to the file menu, go down to plugin extras, and select Migrate Catalog to On One Photo. The Migration Assistant is pretty amazing. It's gonna take all of the albums, or what they call collections in Lightroom, and it will migrate those over with, them, with their photos in them. Any folders that you've created inside of Lightroom, so basically every watched folder that you've created, those will get migrated over. All of the photos that live inside of those will get migrated over. All of the metadata that you've added to those photos, so things like keywords or IPTC metadata or important things like hearts, uh, stars, color ratings, that stuff will get migrated over. And then you also have the option to have it migrate the editing settings over as well. So it does take a little while to do this because basically we have to ask Lightroom to export versions of all of the photos that have editing settings on them. So it may take a little bit of time to do this process. So I would do this when you're okay to let it go. So I do it at night, let it run overnight in the morning, come back, you'll probably be done. On the settings tab of the wizard, make sure you check migrate collections. That's what's gonna bring over all of your collections and make those albums. The second one you want is migrate the develop adjustments. This will bring over almost all of the settings that you can create inside of develop in Lightroom. So all of the basic brightness, color, tone adjustments, things like camera profiles. Uh, it can bring over local adjustments, retouching, almost everything that you can do will be migrated over as well. And we'll do our best to match. It's not going to be a hundred percent match, but it's going to be very close to what it looked like inside of Lightroom. On the last tab, the copies tab, you can also have Lightroom render out uh, complete copies of the photos that have all their settings burned into them. This is more of a backup feature. I don't really use it very often. This would only be if you never had access to Lightroom again and your computer was essentially going away. You might want to do this as an extra backup, but it takes a very long time to do and really isn't necessary. All right, once you've got everything set up, hit the Migrate button. Now I'm working on a pretty small catalog here just so you guys can see how quick it is. You notice over here in Photo Raw, it's switched to us, and in our catalog folders, you'll see this Studio Drive. That's the same folder that we were just looking at in Lightroom. Let me bounce back so you guys can see that. So over here in Lightroom, you'll see Studio Drive, and inside of that, there's a folder called Studio Folders, and inside of that, I've got categories for each of my kinds of jobs. And if I go back over here to Photo Raw, you'll see the same thing. There's my Studio Drive, and I roll it down, and you'll see those same subfolders that we just saw. Now you'll also notice that in my album section, I see the collection that I had. If I bounce back over here to Lightroom and we look and see, 
I've got a collection called My Favorites, and inside of it, it has these three photos that come from three different folders. And if we look back in Photo Raw, and we click on that same album, you'll see those same three photos right there that I had inside of Lightroom. Let's go dig into one of the folders and see what it's done there too. Let's bounce back to Lightroom. I'm gonna to go to this engagement session in here. And you notice that in this folder, I've got a photo that is edited. It actually is a version of the photo. It's been edited, it's been cropped and made black and white. So there's the original photo. And there's the version that's been cropped and converted to black and white. If we go look in that same job folder, we'll see the same photos. Down at the bottom, you'll see here's that original photo right here. And right next to it is a version. Now the version doesn't look different yet. You'll notice it has a tiny little LR badge on it. That means it actually has Lightroom settings assigned to it, but they haven't been interpreted yet. The way this works is every photo that you've processed with Lightroom will create a small version on disk, a little JPEG that we use as a reference image. When you open that photo up into edit the first time, it will go through and interpret the settings from Lightroom and make it match. It's kind of an AI magic thing. Now, in the background, it'll actually go through and refresh those and those will go away. It just hasn't hit this photo yet. So let me show you. If I open this up into edit now, now it updates and now it looks just like it did inside of Lightroom. You notice how the same crop is applied, the same exposure and tone adjustments are applied. And if I go to effects, I'll see that same black and white filter applied as well. So I get the same non-destructive settings that I created inside of Lightroom, but back inside of On One Photo Raw. The same thing goes for my metadata as well. You'll notice how these photos have five stars. I assign five stars to them inside of Lightroom. That five star metadata comes across as well. There you go. That's how easy it is to migrate from Lightroom Classic into On One Photo Raw. Almost everything you've done in Lightroom is going to find its way directly into Photo Raw, and you're going to find it and use it in a very similar way. It's going to feel very much at home inside of Photo Raw. Thanks for watching.